Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I will show you how to improve your picture and video quality on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. This is a mod which was really popular in the Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge section and now here it is available for our brand new device. The mod will give you some new interesting goodies but mainly the most important ones are the increase of bitrate and JPG quality. In this tutorial I will show you how to install the mod and also a comparison between the media info of two images and two videos took before and after the application of the mod. Until then, here are some prerequisites that you'll need to take into consideration before installing this mod. You will need root. If you don't know what root is or how to get it on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, check out my video in the car section. Also, there is a list of full compatible models in the description updated by the developer of this mod. If you are wondering if you could revert back to stock, the answer is yes, you can. Camera application version of your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus should be 7.0.80 or whatever the dev mentions in the XDA thread which is also located in the description because by the time you see this video in the future there may be an updated version of it so make sure you check the version out there firstly. You can check the version of your camera by going to settings, apps and camera app. There are two methods from uh, which you can successfully install or uninstall this mod. The first one is maybe the most simple one. Go to Google Play Store, search for camera mod S8 application and support the developer by buying it. The app will give you more customization options. The second one though is the brute force one. Download the zip into the description, go into recovery and flash it there. Let's boot into TWRP recovery and install the mod. Click install, then search for the installing zip and swipe to install. In order to revert back to stock camera, although I have no idea why you would ever want to get back to stock one, there is also an uninstalling zip into the description and the procedure is the same as in the installation part. Let me show you a visual feature of the mod which doesn't come with the stock camera. When you are in UHD video mode and you set up a black and white effect for example, it won't let you record with that effect on. With the mode activated, you are able to do that. That is a minor trick that has been applied. For now, let's take a picture with the stock camera and also a 5 second 4K video in order to compare them at the end of the video with the camera mod. So, right now I'm currently running the new camera mod. And let me show you what I was talking about the effect. I'm running the same video settings, 4K, and I will set the same black and white effect. Now, if I press the video recording button, as you can see, there won't be any errors and the video will be recorded with that effect applied. Now to the real JPG quality and video bitrate test. I will take, of course, on the same configuration, in the same location, a similar photo along with, again, a similar 5 second video. Okay, so after I've done that, let me switch to my personal computer and show you the difference in terms of quality and bitrate. Okay guys, so we're right here on my personal computer. I have connected my Galaxy S8 to my USB Type-C cable and as you can see here, these are the files that uh, I took a couple of minutes ago. As you may see, there is the first JPG, the second one, the first video and the second one and uh, I replaced the names right here and we're gonna be checking out their bitrate and their quality in the media, in media info application for Windows. Okay, so we'll start with the first video which is the before video MP4 and as you may see here in the general section it says that the overall bitrate is 48.6 megabits per second and uh, so this was the first uh, video I took with uh, without the mod with the stock camera app and uh, let me show you the second one where you'll see the difference as you can see in the second one it says the overall bitrate is 62.6 .6 megabits per second all of the both of them has have the duration of a 5 seconds or about 5 seconds and the difference in terms of bitrate is huge as you can see from 48.6 to 
62.6 megabits per second, which is an improvement. Now, let's take a look at the size of the before JPG. As you can see, it is 3.97 megabytes and the one taken with the mod activated it's almost 5 megabytes and that is also a huge increase in uh, size and also in terms of quality yep that was what I wanted to show you guys thank you for watching my review I hope you like it if you did please make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel for more awesome tutorials like those and um, until next time as always Take care. Wicked is out. Bye-bye.